Hello, we're going to make a video, and this video will demonstrate logging into a workstation on the ECE HPC Linux platform with MOBA Xterm, either after getting a new ID or logging in right after getting a reset password. The primary difference between what I call a regular login challenge, where you just type in your password, and the login challenge you will receive the first time with a new ID or after a password reset is that you will be forced to change your password when you log in. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Okay, we're going to be doing this with MOBA Xterm. Uh, a previous video we showed how to install MOBA Xterm. There's the icon on the desktop and if you come into the start menu you can find it down here under the M's and uh, MOBA Xterm. You click on this little thing here and in this case it's the first item MOBA Xterm. I'm going to actually run it from the desktop so I'll double click <coughs> now I've run this before in a, in a previous video the MOBA Xterm and what will happen is when you run the MOBA Xterm sometimes it'll pop up and it'll have a window saying that it needs to uh, basically punch a hole in the firewall and so you need to click the allow access button uh, in order to let it uh, work properly so if you see a uh, pop-up click yes or allow access and and you'll be good and you can see here the session I created in the previous video okay in this video uh, we've opened up the MOBA X term uh, uh, initial screen we're gonna come over here we're gonna click on session and then after we go to session we're going to click SSH and the host that we're going to go into for the demonstration will be ECE-HPC01 dot cc dot lehigh dot edu and um, you'll most likely be given uh, a machine HPC01, HPC02, HPC etc. Uh, that you'll be using uh, for your class. I clicked on specify a username and so I'm going to put in my username. It's my user ID actually. So uh, your, yours will probably be uh, six characters. I have one of the old Lehigh IDs. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and, and click OK. And when I do that it comes up and it asks me for my password. So I'm going to go ahead and type my password in. Now it asks me to type my password in again. It wants the current password that I have. Um, so I'm going to retype the password that I put in initially. And now I type a new password. and you want this to be something that you're going to be able to remember um, <coughs> and it asks me if I want to save my password um, LTS policy is to click no if this is on your uh, your own laptop you know you can yeah, whatever you want to do you can I, I, I suggest clicking no so that it's a little bit more secure okay so here it's going and logged me in okay and uh, now I'm going to run a piece of software just to show you how you can get graphics running on the server back to your uh, Windows desktop. So the way I would do that is I would type gedit and then I'm going to put an ampersand at the end here um, and I'll type that and let's now as I said I'm on a slow DSL line so the um, the graphics will probably take a second to get back here And here comes the graphics. And what gedit is is it's basically a um, notepad editor. 
so this notepad editor that you can run from the uh, server uh, displayed its graphics back on the Windows desktop which is remote to the server so um, I'll go ahead and close that and I'll close without saving now if you're on a uh, if you're on a cable line that has like uh, you know 20 you know 200 megabytes down 20 megabytes up you're not going to see that kind of lag it's going to come back faster um, if you're on a slow DSL line uh, this will be kind of slow uh, I have six down one up at the moment on the line that I'm running on uh, and uh, so anyways uh, then to leave you just type exit and sometimes when you type exit leaving a GUI session uh, where you've been running X uh, you have to hit control C to make it like totally release it although it looks like it did release it there okay so I clicked on session again. Okay, so anyways, that's all there is to uh, establishing a uh, or connecting into a uh, MOBA X term session uh, with a new ID or with uh, the password being recently reset. I hope this was helpful and thanks for listening.